Tired of the generic voice flow chat look? Want to stand out and create a more engaging user experience? This video is your one-stop shop for customizing your voice flow chatbot with CSS. We'll show you how to override default settings, add a self-hosted style sheet, and unleash your inner design genius. Let us get started. We are going to use a demo chatbot, which we built in one of our previous videos. It is a Gemini 1.5 Pro chatbot with a knowledge base of a health and fitness center. We can run a test in the dialog window. But we will configure the appearance of the chatbot in a production version. We will publish the chatbot and the user will see the customized style. You can embed your chatbot to a website and you can customize the appearance to bring a better user experience. If we go to the integration, we can change the default settings. For example, in the general section, we can change the name, description, position, etc. In the appearance section, we can change the color and images. On the right side, it shows the default looking of the chatbot. It has the voice flow logo, the default name and description. If you want to publish your own chatbot, or build a chatbot for a client, you will definitely need to change the name, description, and logo. We will use the chatbot demo to show you how to customize the style. I will use a WAMP local host. In the www folder, we have website called demo. In the demo folder, we have a very simple index.html file. We open the file in a code editor. As we can see, in the body, this website has a single sentence to show. This is VoiceFlow Chatbot Demo. We open the file in the browser, and we see the sentence in H1 style. On the right, we have a developer tool window. You can right-click your mouse, and select Inspect to show this window. So far, we do not have the chatbot on the website. We go back to the chatbot, and make a copy of this code snippet. We paste it before the closing body tag. If you have a WordPress website, you can paste the code in the footer. Do not forget to publish your chatbot. Let us save the HTML file. We refresh the web page. Now we see the chat bubble down here. We click on it, and the chat window shows up. Let us restart the conversation. We can see the default name, description, and logo. Now we want to replace them with our own logo, name, and description and customize the colors to give the user a better experience, which is very important to retain the user on the chatbot. Here, under the version ID, we add Assistant. Let us first change the title. We add title as Farthink Fitness. This is because our knowledge base is related to a gym. We save the file, and this will replace the default one. We are now on the website. The title is still the default one. Let us refresh the web page. Now we see the new title. Also, on the top, it has changed the name. Next, let us change the description. In the code, we add description as welcome to the health and fitness center. We refresh the web page, and we see the new description here, welcome to the health and fitness center. Next, we want to change the logo. In the demo folder, let us add the logo of my YouTube channel. In the code, we add image as logo.jpg. Let us refresh the web page, and we see the new logo showing up on the top. This is good. We also want to change this one. Let us right click the mouse and select inspect. On the right, we can see it is a background image. It has the URL of the image. We need to use a customized style sheet to replace the image. Let us add a new file and name it as chatbot.css. This is a CSS file, and we will add customized style in the file. First we need to integrate it in the HTML file. We add stylesheet as chatbot.css. This will load the file. We will add code in the CSS file. On the web page, we make a copy of this selected code including the background image. It has the class name. We paste the code in the CSS file and change the URL to logo, which points to the logo image file showing on the left window. We save the file, and go back to the web page. We see the default image here. Let us refresh the page, and we see the default image has gone. But we do not see our logo here. Let us refresh it again, 
and still do not see the logo. Something is wrong. Let us inspect it. We can see the logo image has been loaded, but it should not a PNG file. That is a typo. On this CSS file, let us correct it with JPG. Now let us refresh it, and we see the logo has been successfully loaded. We inspect it again, and we are sure the logo image has been set as the background image. The logo is also showing down here. The logo has been loaded in the three places. Next, we will change the color on the top. You can add code in the CSS file. There is another way to change the color. In the HTML file, we add color as green. I like green color, and I think for a fitness center, green color has a better meaning. Let us refresh the web page, and we see the bubble color has been changed to green instead of the default blue color. On the top bar, the color is now green. Of course, you can choose any color you want for your chatbot. Next, we will change the background color of the chat window. I feel white color hurts eyes, because it's too bright. Let's inspect and select the background color. You can try different colors, and pick the best one according to your needs. I will choose a gray color, which is not too dark or bright, some colors are too bright. Some are too dark, and the description becomes unclear. To me, this gray color is the best. Now let us select this code, and make a copy. We go back to the code, and paste it in the CSS file. We do not need these lines of code, and we can delete them. Save the change, and go to the website. Refresh and we see the background color has been changed to the gray. If we inspect it, we can see the new background color here. After this, we ask the bot, what classes do you offer? The bot fetches data from the knowledge base and sends to Gemini 1.5 Pro, which returns the answer. We offer yoga flow, yoga with meditation, Pilates fusion, foam roller Pilates, and so on. The background color is white, and I want to change it. Let us inspect this element. We see the background color is white. You can pick any color you want. Here, I pick this light green color, which I think is suitable because it is not too dark or too bright, and consistent with the color of the user questions color. The black words are just legible. Let us select the code and make a copy. We paste it in the CSS file. We remove this line of code. Save the change and refresh the web page. We can see the change. So far, I am satisfied with all the changes. In summary, we have shown you how to change the title, the description, the logo, the background color, etc. with the self-hosted style sheet. You can override default settings and customize your voice flow chatbot with CSS. This can make your chatbot more attractive and dramatically enhance the user experience. Hope this helps. If you like this video, please subscribe and give a thumbs up. If you have any comments and suggestions, please let us know. Thank you for your support.